what, how did it get away from you? Uh, I thought they just took it to us right from the beginning of the quarter. I, you know, Kawhi hit two threes immediately, and uh, they turned up their defense, and they just got on a run, and um, we just uh, we just sort of lost that defensive tenacity that we had in the first half. Right, standing. Coach Dan Devine from the Ringer. Um, uncomfortable position to be in, but not one you haven't seen before. Down three-one. What can you take from your past experience being on the brink as you try to get the guys ready for Game Five? Uh, you just you just try to win one game. That's uh, you know that's what we did a few years ago against OKC. Um, win one game and then um, you move forward. So that's our focus now. Is uh, you know we'll fly to Toronto tomorrow and take a look at the film, see what we can do better, and uh, try to win a game. We've won a lot of games over the years, so we'll try to win another one. Third row over here, CJ Peterson, San Francisco Examiner. Steve, obviously, Kawhi's 36, really carried Toronto tonight. But Sergi Baca's 20 really hurt you guys. You know, he's really active in the pick and roll. What was so hard about guarding uh, Serge tonight? He just got it going, and they uh, they did a good job in the second half of moving the ball and finding the open man. They hit eight threes in the second half after we, we did a good job on them in the first. And so the ball started moving, and uh, and they found Serge at, you know, in the pockets and uh, in the middle of the paint uh, several times. and. He had a great game. Towards the middle. Nate Duncan, Dunked on Podcast. Coach, this is the most that your defense has struggled in a series since it, you've been here. What's been the issue for you guys defensively in the series? Uh, we're playing a really good team uh, that moves the ball. And uh, I think we've had our moments defensively, but we haven't been able to, to string together the stops uh, over the course of a game that we've needed to. So I give them the credit. They've uh, they've just played really well offensively, and they got a lot of threats out there, a lot of shooters, a lot of passers, and uh, so they're they're playing well. And we've got to we've got to do better. Phil, fourth row on the right. Hey Steve, Phil Barber, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. It seemed like uh, Steph struggled to find shots for a lot of the evening. What were you trying to do to get him shots? And in in retrospect, could you have done more? Well, we'll take a look at the tape. Um, but you know we've been playing a certain style for for a long time here, and um, you know the ball moves, and um, Steph's one of the great off-ball cutters in the league, and and can play uh, both on and off the ball, and so um, we're trying to mix up you know the different things that we do, and um, you know I, it wasn't his best game, but um, he'll bounce back. Tim on the back left. Steve, Tim Reynolds with the AP. I, I, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's a very down room right now for obvious reasons. How important is it to sort of find some find some morale in the next 72 hours? How, how important and how daunting do you think that task will be as, as you try to stave this thing oh, off I don't, on Monday? I don't, I don't think it's daunting at all. Um, you know, we, uh, we go to Toronto and... You know, this is what we do for a living. We play basketball, so we look forward to playing a, another basketball game in, in an exciting uh, atmosphere and uh, the ultimate test, NBA Finals. So I think we look at it as a challenge. And uh, obviously, we've got to lick our wounds tonight. Tough loss, but um, you know, game's a few days away. We'll have plenty of energy, and we'll be ready to go. Again, in the back, Ron. Steve, Ron Karchik from the San Francisco Chronicle. You talked a little bit about Steph. Did the Raptors approach him any differently defensively given what he did the other night and obviously some of that is affected by clay's presence how, how did how did that sort of mesh how did you think clay played tonight clay was amazing i mean you know with a tweaked hamstring to do what he did uh, looney as well you know coming coming in and playing 20 minutes uh you know given his injury status so both those guys are um they're warriors no pun intended you know they 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 just um uh, Compete, 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 and I'm really proud of both of them. Um, both played really well, but uh, again, it just I mean, it wasn't enough uh, in terms of our team effort. Standing on your right, Monty. Monty Poole, NBC Sports Bay Area. Steve, first half, you guys, I think, going in at halftime, you're up four. Was there a sense that you could have been up by more? I mean, all the turnovers that kept coming even in the second half, how much did that play a role in what happened tonight, just the turning the ball over and the empty possessions? Yeah, I think the turnovers hurt us. Um, and um, yeah, we we probably played well enough in the first half to to be up eight or ten, um, 
But that's, you know, that's not abnormal in the NBA. You know, they stayed in the game with their free throws in the first half. I think they made 10 to our two, and that kept it uh, close while they were struggling offensively. And uh, again, you know, they start out the third with uh, Kawhi hits two straight threes to give them the lead, and I thought there was a surge of energy for them at that point, and that was a really key moment, those first few minutes of the third quarter. Two last two questions, third row, and then Jeff over here on the right. Grant Cohn, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. Steve, you guys have to take three in a row now from a team that's taken five of six from you this season. Where do you go from here? How much better do you guys have to play to win this series? Uh, we go to Toronto, and we try to win a game. Um, that's it's as simple as that. Um, so we're not thinking about winning three games. We're thinking about winning one game, and uh, that's the task. So I know we're capable. We got a lot of talent and we got a lot of pride. These guys have been to the finals five straight years for a reason. They're unbelievably competitive and and um, they're together and they're going to fight. They're going to fight the whole way. So we'll we'll go try to get one win and if we can do that, come back here and and uh, see what happens. Jeff on the right. Jeff Rado Barry News Group. Steve, one of your most competitive guys, obviously, is Draymond. Seems like he came out in the first half and was playing his brains out on defense. The second half, it looked like he lost this guy a few times. What did you think of his play tonight? Oh, Draymond played, uh, he played so hard tonight out there. Um, the first half, um, the intensity level was incredible just to see the athleticism and um, the defensive energy by both teams. It was, um, it was amazing. And Draymond's always right at the center of all that. One of the best defenders. I've ever seen, and he's flying around and doing his thing and um, covering everybody, and um, and then offensively, you know, handling the ball and trying to trying to uh, distribute the ball to our shooters, and uh, so Draymond uh, always makes a huge impact on the game, and and I thought he did tonight, but again, it was uh, a group effort, um, and we didn't have enough as a group to win the game. Thank you, coach. Thanks.